Hello everybody and welcome back to Undertale. My name is Cody and in the last episode we met an excited dog or two or three uh, and as you can see it had an exciting time trying to create a snow dog. Uh, it was filled with inspiration but uh, it kept getting more and more excited and uh, until this happens, this tragedy of art. I believe that this is different to the last... If you go back to my... The same point in my previous run, uh, I believe the art here is different um, because uh, because of the way that we treated the dog differently. Um, so over here is a lump of snow with the word Sans written on it in red marker and a snow papyrus. Uh, I'm not sure if this is Papyrus's Art of Sands or Sands's Art of Sands, uh, or like which one of the two is the talented ice sculpting sibling um, because I assume one of them made one of them and one of them made the other uh, but I couldn't tell you which ones in particular so this is what I call a Pokemon ice slidey puzzle uh, where if you step on the ice at all it you'll glide along until uh, your next destination uh, until you reach another platform and I think I have solved it there we go and squad laugh. We are off to our next destination. Another puzzle solved. And I was also wearing a hat, huh? Alright, well let's head down here first. Um, because to the right always seems to be progress, so we always want to check the other little areas first. What's up? Uh, well, what's up is that there are creepy giant creatures with at least four eyes staring at us in the darkness. That's what's up. <coughs> Uh, also, there are two of you, because you were just there. That's also what's up. That's a concerning up. Giftrot confronts you. So if you remember Giftrot from last time, uh, Giftrot is a troubled, uh, a troubled creature who, uh, oh, hold on, I don't have to dodge his, his stuff. Uh, he's a troubled creature who teens keep decorating his horns, and he doesn't like it, so we've got to undecorate him. I use this tiny cane to walk on it. That's a little better. Well, if it's a little better, maybe you can stop trying to murder me. Because you're doing a lot of da You do like five damage each time. Um, but hopefully, this is the last one. Oh, you had two of those, huh? Gift Shot's problems have been taken away. Alright, well. Let's spare Gift Shot in that case. Um and head on over to here. I don't remember what this is, to be honest. Oh, it's this area. I skipped to this area last time because I think it seems like there's some sort of combination of lighted mushrooms or something that might unlock this door, but I didn't know what it was. But it seems like from the comments last time, this is some sort of post-game kind of thing. Uh, I'm unable to open the door at this present time. So we'll just have to remember it for later. Hey, Sans. Hey Sans, Hel hello Sans, how are you? It's uh, interestingly there seems to be two of you and uh, here's a snow puff. This one's also a snow puff. Uh, this is a snow puff here. Surprisingly this is also a snow puff. Uh, that's not a snow puff, it's a tiny dog house. Snow puff. Is it really a snow puff? Behold, a snow puff. Wonder what this is. There's 30 G inside this. What is this? It's a snow puff. Does it have 30 more G? Did I get the 30 G? I'm asking the important questions here. That is not a snow puff. That is a dog. In fact. In fact, it is a greater dog. So Thanks to some advice in the comments, what we're going to do is there's this stick, which people were concerned I might have used it last episode. By the way, I apparently could have spared the dogs as soon as I used the stick, but I didn't notice that, so I kept on in the fight. So I can throw the stick, uh, and we can play fetch. Ow, that was cheating. You can't just change between blue and white. Uh, and, uh, and we can just end the fight just like that. Which makes it... A far easier task 
so, see ya. Uh, thanks to that stick, we have once again saved the day. Saved the... Oh, when, when, when people say it like that, it reminds me of the Powerpuff Girls. Hello! You man, this is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold, the Gauntlet of Deadly Terror. That is a Gauntlet of Deadly Terror. I mean, I can take the spear, I can take the mace. I'm okay with the cannons and the blades and the fire. There's just one part I have a problem with. It's that dog. It's that orb-stealing dog. I'm about to do it. Don't you dare set that dog on me. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm, I'm about to activate it now. That, uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems maybe too easy to defeat the human with? Yeah, we can't use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair. And my traps are expertly cooked. Yeah, well, look, once you get the microwave working, I'm sure your spaghetti will be will be delicious. But this method is too direct, no class at all. Away it goes. Phew! What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Yeah. Huh? Yep, another uh, decisive victory for Papyrus right there. I don't know what my brother's going to do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. So yeah, he's hinting there that blue attacks mean that you, uh, if you stand still, that you won't get damaged by them. Welcome to Snowden Town. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. So this is the only major town in the game, and it's our chance to um, probably put away this stick and the toy knife. Um, and we won't worry about inventory stuff for now because I'm going to try and get some uh, some more items. Let's chat to this rabbit. Hi, welcome to Snowden. Where'd you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? Uh, you could call me a tourist in some sense. Grilby's has food, the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. You can watch those wacky skeletons do those things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm sure they make life very interesting. Think back to your history cl Oh yeah, of course, monster history! I'm... You know, I, I never really paid attention in monster history class as a child monster, so maybe you can... Maybe you can enlighten me. Um... Yeah, no, no, I'm not gonna explore any ruins. It's not like I'm a ghost. It's, it's not like I'm a sad ghost. A little claustrophobic, but we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? Yep. The freedom to be able to murder all the humans. Isn't that just lovely, lovely? Alright, so we've already got a tough glove. A manly bandana will be quite useful. Um, Alright, so this heals 22 HP. It was useful the last time um, it has abs on it. Um, it was useful the last time that we played through this because I had a bunch of HP from uh, from killing people. Um, but this time around, I am only going to have my 20 HP throughout the entire thing. Oh yeah, um, yeah, alright, that's fine, um, so what I, instead I can get is this, which seems like a, uh, a pretty good deal, um, and, uh, because it recovers 11 health, I have 20 max HP, that should be enough to, um, be a significant recovery most of the time, um, hello? Welcome to Snowed Inn, Snowed Inn's premier hotel. One night is ADG, we might as well stay. Um, mm. 
Don't you love a family that can snore rhythmically? It's an important skill to have. It's incredible because you're only up there for about two minutes. Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. Ooh. Above your maximum HP? We have 30 out of 20 HP. Huh. I didn't realize that was possible. I'm not sure if that was a feature last time. I'm not sure if that happened in my non-pacifist run, actually. Uh, maybe it's a benefit of this of this version of, of the of the game. Uh, that lady over there, something about her disturbs me. Bun buns are so adorable. Uh, maybe because she's a rabbit with a pet rabbit on a leash. Maybe because she's a slave owner. Awful teens tormented the local monster by decorating its tree-like horns, so we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's tradition to put parent presents underneath a decorated tree. So that's the, the history of Gift Trot there. Um, hello. You're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. Yep. That's definitely how to tell a kid. Uh, or chug a corner in a convention. This town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. Oh, that was a classic line. Uh, and now we understand it a bit better because we know who the fish lady is, whereas we didn't the first time going through here. Let's have a look at all this. Wow. No matter where I go, it's the same people. The same menu, the same people. Help, I want new drinks and hot, hot guys. What, well, the hot guy uh, right at the bar there. Hmm, isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm, I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture. Yeah, there's uh, some, uh, the jukebox is broken. So I think last time we were here, um, <laughs> that's a funny joke. Uh, I think the last time that we were here, um, there were less people here because I think I might have accidentally killed one of the dogs. Uh, but I don't remember. I think I might have saved the dogs if possible because... Because they're adorable looking. And I was pretty arbitrary in my last run in who I killed. It appears to be losing. Well, that's the, that's the way it goes. You lose every game. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with the fish. But you are a fish. Yeah, so they're an elite military group. Um, which, uh, look, Papyrus is as elite as they get, as I suppose. Um, but, you know, that's, uh, it's a matter of opinion. So... I'm just gonna keep talking to all the all the people. During this crowding lack of sunlight, I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. At least I'm not making puns. We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? That's my That's my motto too. Don't worry about things that you don't have any control over. Worry about the things that you can change. Hello. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. My patience rewards me. I think I did this last time too. I don't think you get anything particular out of it. Here's a muscular, like, werewolf uh, throwing ice cubes into the ocean. Remember that for later, I suppose. And up here is... Uh... I think that might be where the uh, the boat comes along later in the game. Here's the library, uh, as they say in, in America. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know the sign is misspelled. That look in your eye. You're someone who has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? Yeah, see, well, I can tell from the look in your eye um, that you're related to Mike Wazowski. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. Uh, the classic small town of 15 people newspaper. Actually, there might be slightly more than 15 people in here, but I'm the number one worst search creator in the entire underground. Oh, so it's your fault for that that puzzle. Oh yeah, so there's a bunch of uh, 
of information on how souls work, which are... Well, we already know that, don't we? So, I'm not going to go through it all. Oh, a mailbox overflowing in unread junk mail. This mailbox is labelled Papyrus. Look inside. Yeah? It's empty. What's in here? It's locked. Oh, what's in here? Oh yeah, that, no, that's the, that's the teleport back. Uh, actually, while I'm here, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna put a couple of these in here. I'm gonna put the bandage in here. Um, and I'm going to actually buy, I'm gonna buy a couple of these actually because I'm thinking about it. It may be helpful at some point uh, to be able to actually fully heal if I do get into deep trouble. Uh, and I've got money and nothing else to spend it on. Um, you know, so why not? I'm not going to be needing to spend money on weapon upgrades or anything like that. Uh, because I don't use my weapon. So, what we're going to do is in the next exciting episode, I think you might know what's coming. See you then.